Uh, hi everyone, I'm Andy Gore, um, founder of um, Long with my Brothers of Soccer Manager. <coughs> and we founded it back in 2004, UK based game development studio. Uh, we've been making um, manager games for 14 years now. We've had over 25 million registered users, that's like over these years. They're organic users. So, um, we don't, it's like um, a lot of natural users just come on the invite the friends and we've built up the community that way. And um, we've currently got over a million monthly active users across the uh, manager games that we've got. Highly active, highly engaged. This was the first game that we did back in, two, released it back in 2005. It was a web-based multiplayer manager game. Uh, it was just a web game originally on SoccerManager.com. There is an app for it, but it's only a WebView app at the moment. We've not worked on this game now for over two years. We've just left it up there and uh, left it to its own devices on the web. It's still got um, 100,000 very active users on it. And um, it's uh, also got 50,000 DAUs, half of them come on every day. Not many registrations, about 30 registrations a day these days, so it's a very highly sticky audience that we just can't get rid of unless we turn the servers off. And then, um, where's it going? And yeah, so this game is, um, you, oh. this game you build up your team by buying and selling football players with each other. So it's a very, it's a player trading game basically. You own your club, you own your football players, you buy and sell those players during the week on a transfer market. You have a match every Wednesday and Saturday to play with your players. So it's basically essentially a player trading game. And um, with Soccer Manager Crypto, Soccer Manager Crypto is going to be a rebuild of that game basically. We're going to rebuild it and we're going to make a special game world that is built on the blockchain. And um, the, the key thing about this is we are just remaking an original game that's battle proven. It's been out there for many years. It's still got this very highly engaged audience even though it's on the web. And we're just going to announce to them here is going to be a special type of game world that goes one step further than what we've done previously with the other game worlds that they all played. There's thousands of these game worlds all of these players played in. This is going to be a special one. The whole point of that game originally was you own those players, you own those clubs. And this on the blockchain, what we can say to them is we were now going to go one step further. You really do own these football players that you are buying and selling with each other. You really do own these clubs. Even they've trusted us for 14 years to keep that service up and running. So when they are buying and selling these players that they really own, and they are trusting us never to turn that game off, they're hoping that soccer manager doesn't sort of like disappear, go bankrupt, and then they lose all the work and the players that they've been buying and selling. The blockchain just sort of enforces that to them. We can say you really do own these players now. So it's a natural next step for that game. We're not just making this game on the blockchain just for the sake of using the blockchain. We would have used the blockchain. <laughs> we would have used the blockchain uh, 14 years ago if the blockchain existed instead of using a MySQL centralized database to hold all these transactions and who owns what players. So it, it just seemed like a natural fit for us to uh, have a go and make this special game world. Here's some of the uh, screenshots of the game. As it stands, it looks like a, a traditional sort of manager game that you'd expect to see. You can, you've got your leagues, you've got your matches, the squads that you own. Yeah, but then there'll be a transfer market, you buy and sell players. Then a match day, we get your match reports when you come in and log in. You set your tactics before the match. And um, <clears throat> this this game will people will be able to they'll download all the game onto their own PC. So they'll have the true ownership of, of this game, they'll be buying, selling and players. We plan to put this game out in a beta stage this quarter. And we're going to have a closed beta and we're going to invite special, uh, probably very hardcore loyal users from the other games into it. Maybe maybe about a thousand of them or something, we'll give them a special invite, fill up all the clubs, run the game world for one season as a beta 
which will take a few weeks, iron out the issues, and then we'll reset it, and then from then on we'll release it in the wild. <coughs> we are building this game on the Zaya platform, which is um, the blockchain that we've chosen to use. The reason why we're buying it, we're building it on this as opposed to Ethereum, is because um, this, this is built, souped up for blockchain gaming. The guys have took the Bitcoin core and they have then rebuilt it. So it's tweaked and souped up the blocks every 30 seconds. It's, it's a bit faster for us. It's absolutely ideal for what we need. We can work extremely closely with them. They're making a the blockchain side. That's not our speciality. <coughs> We're doing a manager game side. Um, that's what we know. That's the bit that we do. Also with these guys, it's language of Nisty. We were making it in C for our bits. They write the game. This is what in C++. But you can write your game in any language. You just do it. You just do the RPC calls that they've made on their bit. Um, there's no none of this. None of this is centralised whatsoever. It's all completely decentralised, which is a big appeal to us because we want. Even if Soccer Manager disappeared off the face of the earth, we stop upgrading this game. We want these people to carry on fully running it, we can't take these players and clubs off them. The other thing with the Zaya team, why we're working with them, is because, I mean, these guys with a lead on the name coin, they also made, or they claim to make, I believe them, the first blockchain game ever, which was Hunter Coin, and that is still up there, they did that in 2013. They, they just really know the stuff, they like blockchain through and through, blockchain gaming through and through. And um, that's the... Uh, that's the presentation. I'll contact myself or or the Zaya guys if you want to work on their platform. And uh, that's it. So, yep. any questions? Cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, just, if you just wait for the microphone, and you can just remind us who you are. Thanks. Shaban Shami from Everdream Soft. Um, why you you mentioned you were going to blockchain is a natural transition, but why exactly and how are you going to tackle adoption? Because people who play regular game and especially soccer game uh, might not bridge the gap into having a wallet and do all this. Yeah, the um, <coughs> the blockchain elements of it. We've got other games. We've got a single player manager game. That's where we've got our most users, that's where we now put all our effort and focus on. That's traditional manager game, playing your own. I mean, that's got, that's probably where the bulk of that million monthly active users comes from. We are not really going to target them so much, but we'll let them know about it. I think we're targeting more the original multiplayer game, uh, the world's users. And there's a hundred, a thousand of them actively playing on that game. Some of them have been playing it for multiple years, it's like a hobby to them. And that game is just the crypto gate is a crypto game world all we're doing is we're saying it's the same game but you can actually really own those players other than trusting our servers to not have technical faults go offline it's it's basically it's just using a different data store where we can claim we've gone a step further than what we've always done with this game it's always community driven of the hundred thousand people if we just got a thousand people playing in that game world maybe that's the capacity of the number of football clubs in there, we'd be happy with that as a success. We don't need all of them to move over and adopt. The other thing why they would maybe use the wallet is because we found some users in that game will pay an awful lot of money every month, a small amount, to buy lots of leagues and lots of property. And I think because it's not lots of people rolling in and out, signing up, it's just a very small number signing up. It's very easy to communicate with them and forums and tell them and I don't think the wallet adoption would be an obstacle to them or enough of them who are probably more driven to really want to take that game a little bit further than what they, they're playing. I think that's, we're hoping, should. That's the theory anyway. We'll see. Any other questions? I think just to say that the Zale system is slightly different in the walleting onboarding compared to a Ethereum or something like that. It's, in some ways, it's more complicated because you have to download. You have a, like a client wallet, that you, a PC client download that you download, and then that syncs to the blockchain. So it's almost like running. I don't know the technicalities. Almost, it's almost it, your wallet has to be synced to the blockchain all the time. It's almost like part of the blockchain, but it's not 
it's not on Node or anything like that. So there, there's, I think there's more complication to begin with in, to get people onboarding, but once they're onboarding, it's pretty straightforward because you just basically fire up the wallet and the client. So you, you don't, it's, it's kind of di different. It's worth you can download the you can download the wallet at the moment, can't you? It's, it's worth checking out actually. The say blockchain is coming at things from from very different approach, just because you say they're kind of they're very much coming up from the Bitcoin era. And it's very different to, to what we're seeing in the mass adoption. So it's, it's, it's yeah. nothing right or wrong. It's just a different way of doing it. Isn't it? it is, yeah. It's a different mm. approach. It's for our specific game. It's it's it just ticks all the boxes. It's it suits us. It's uh, yeah. It's coming from the Bitcoin core. It's mm. pretty much a souped-up version of that. Cool. Lovely. Thank you very much, Andy. Cheers.